The decades-long search for an HIV vaccine has not yet succeeded because HIV has so many different strains that make it a very hard target for a vaccine. Scripps researchers now say an effective vaccine needs to mobilize a very specific kind of antibody to actually stop the virus. Those antibodies are called broadly neutralizing antibodies. And we think a vaccine needs to elicit broadly neutralizing antibodies against HIV to protect against the hundreds of thousands or millions of HIV variants that are in humans around the planet right now. Bill Sheaf with Scripps Research is co-author of a paper published in Nature about the clinical trial and the research around it. He says it has proven that the strategy for creating a vaccine is on the right path. Scripps Antigen, the precursor to a vaccine, elicited the correct immune response in 97% of the human test subjects. This was now done in the clinic, in people. So we're on our way, but we have a long way to go yet. Those broadly neutralizing antibodies Bill Sheaf talked about remain elusive even after a clinical trial and analysis he calls undeniably successful. They're not enough to be broadly neutralizing antibodies yet, but they're sort of baby, they're baby broadly neutralizing antibodies. They need to learn, they still need to learn more. They need to gain mutations. Today, many people with HIV are able to live well by taking antiviral drugs every day. But in places like sub-Saharan Africa, where HIV cases are very high, those drugs are expensive and often inaccessible. That's why Sheaf says we need a vaccine. What we're trying to develop is a vaccine that will prevent infection in the first place. But if we can prevent infection in the first place, we can reduce the number of people that are already infected and make it much more tractable for antiretroviral therapy to cure the people that already are infected. Dennis Burton compares the search for an AIDS vaccine to a baseball game in which creating a vaccine is like hitting a home run. He says the work of Bill Sheaf and his collaborators have gotten us to first base. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.